Last year, LG was a bit bipolar with audio. Going from the V10 to the G5, the modular experiment was a flop, and folks in the USA never got to play with the high-quality DAC add-on. What we were left with was one of the poorest performing headphone jacks of the year. The G6 walks away from modular, but introduces a confusing feature fragmentation between the various regions where this phone will ship. The Korean model gets the quad DAC made popular by the V20. The American model gets wireless charging. Does this mean the North American variant is going to be another dog like the G5? Well, let's start with the speaker. Happily to my ear, we hear subtle improvements to clarity over last year's G5. They're both similarly loud, but they're slightly better instrument separation and the mids don't get as muddled. A mono bottom firing speaker won't wow anyone in an age of phones with stereo speakers, but hearing any improvement from G5 to G6 is a critical victory. Why? Well, the common knowledge is, once you waterproof a phone, then the speaker performs worse. The iPhone 7 disproved that notion, and the G6 reinforces that idea. Now, getting back to the headphone jack, our pre-release unit is set up to resemble a North American retail phone, wireless charging, and the standard DAC instead of the quad. I'm happy to report that folks in the USA shouldn't be too concerned. This is not the same as the G5's anemic headphone output, and in one year, LG moves from near the bottom of the heap to grab a spot much closer to the top of our review list. Quality numbers are now within spitting distance of the iPhone 6S, trailing just behind the HTC 10. Significant improvements to dynamic range and reducing noise with proper support for full 24-bit playback. The amp is still the weak link here, but again, the G6 noticeably improves over its predecessor. No issues at all driving my Sennheiser 599s using the lower impedance cabling. The sweet spot for me about three clicks down from the phone's maximum volume. So let's wrap this up. LG G6, what do we hear? It's good, really good. It's the best sounding G series we've yet reviewed and it's more competitive against other flagships and premium mid-rangers. The only disappointment is knowing that there will be a version of this phone which will more closely resemble the insane headphone performance of the V20. But those advantages come mostly from using higher impedance cans to light up the V20's amp. Most consumers on regular headphone fare likely won't hear a significant difference, which is exactly how it should be for a mainstream smartphone offering. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more reviews like these and help us out with some sharing on your favorite social networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next review.